we're Mike and Joe, and we're throwing the USA in our 31 year old camper van called Roger. We're currently driving the Blue Ridge Parkway, a 500 mile scenic drive from North Carolina to Virginia. In the previous episode, we visited the Crabtree Falls. Turns out we've gone the wrong way. The Linville Falls. I wish you put this view closer to the car park. <laughs> and headed off the Blue Ridge Parkway to cycle some of the new river trail. The trail was a bit muddy in parts. In this episode, we head back onto the parkway, stopping at the Blue Ridge Music Centre. We visit a historic mill and we watch a guy jump off a cliff. So come along, it'll be fun. <laughs> we have a problem. So our check engine light's still coming on in the mornings. We got a series of codes. We just stopped in the garage back there and asked them. The mechanic Jackson came out, had a look at the codes from our manual. Should be nothing to worry about. Nothing too dramatic at the stage anyway. Put my peace of mind a little bit. Still doesn't mean nothing's gonna go wrong. Just heading back onto the Blue Ridge Parkway today. Just left the town of Galax where we had a bit of a rail trail there. We're just at the Blue Ridge Music Centre. It's gonna be some music starting at midday. We're looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I had to get another fridge magnet. Mike's gonna do the reveal. Ta -da! Ta -da! Hey, it's got little, it's got gold in it. He said, he said that's gold over there. There's gonna be some live music in about an hour, some mountain music. That sounds exciting. So we're just going to go for a little walk while we wait. <laughs> Very pretty through here. Might even see a bear. Must admit I'm a little bit obsessed with bears and banjos. I don't know how easy they are to play. So it comes to a little meadow. It's a very nice meadow too. Hi, right, so that's our hike done. Now we're gonna go listen to some mountain music. We better get changed into some mountain music clothes. Ta-da! Mm. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we're now in Virginia the border at some stage. We're getting a nice little collection of not necessarily state related fridge magnets. Well, car magnets. Roger magnets. So the Blue Ridge Parkway is actually a national park. The whole drive is a national park. So there's no commercial vehicles allowed. That's why there's no businesses or shops. It makes it really pleasant. And Mike was just saying, the national park in some places, it's just the width of the road. Mrs. Puckett lived here to the ripe old age of 102. She was a farmer to start off with, but at the age of 50, she had a change of career to midwifery, and she helped deliver a thousand children, the last one in her 102nd year. Unfortunately, none of her own 24 children survived infancy, but she didn't lose any mother or child in her care. I wonder if she got teased when she was younger. Why? Because of her name. What? What's wrong with Puckett? <laughs> Just taking a walk out to check out a historic mill. Well, it's left derelict, it's been restored. Uh, can I have four horseshoes, size eight, narrow fit, please? So it's quite a busy little mill house. At the top end there, it had a saw. In the middle bit, he had a grinder for wheat. And then down here, he's got his workshop. He had a bandsaw and jigsaw, all powered by the water mill. So this is a grinding bark and hemlock for tanning hides. And the uh, horse would be harnessed here. You have to walk round and round in circles just to turn it round. Poor horse, hope he didn't get too giddy. Is that where they get the same from? Giddy up. <laughs> giddy up horse here, it probably was because he's getting giddy running around around in circles. That's funny, Mike. There's the uh, still down there. Old fashioned one. Brother Paul still does his.
this is where we parked up last night, just outside the lodge. They said we could camp here. We had dinner last night in there. Nice spot. It's a foggy old day today up in the mountains. I think it might clear once we start heading down a bit. Look clear down in the valley. We had some torrential rain last night and we found another leak. This time on this side of the car. Looks like the rubber's all perished. So we're not sure how we're going to fix that one. But I'm sure Mike will wield his magic and do something. We have a problem. Motorbike's not gonna worry about it. Oh. <laughs> really well done. We had a couple of people turn up with some ropes. Thank you, Zach. We're gonna let the other guys move first because we'll hold them up otherwise because we go slow. There's only another 12 miles to go to the end of the parkway. We've almost done it. We're at Raven's Roost and someone's just about to jump off a cliff. We'll film it. drive done in six days thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it and until next time stay safe have fun be happy